Good morning. It's another day in Zanzibar. We woke up very early because we wanted to walk along the beach. But you can see there is somehow high tide. Look at how nice this beach looks when there are no people. I like it when there are no much people at the beach. The place we are staying is just less than 100 meters away. We have literally walked to this place and we intend to enjoy this beach. So let's enjoy the beach. Behind me is the boat garage. You can see those people are trying to elevate the boat so that they can do some repairs. And right next to me on the beach, all these are fishermen boats. Oh, so guys, we've just left the beach. Apparently there were a lot of, there, there was high tide, but see what we've just bumped into. All these fruits. Ah. This, is, this is a confirmation that Zanzibar is a very, very fertile island because they get all this from their farms. I'm really enjoying my stay. Maybe later we'll go to the. I don't think I told you guys, but Baraka Natural Aquarium for the turtles is right next door. It's less than 50 meters from where we stay. Okay, so this is where we stayed last night. Let me just turn on the line so you can see it. The place is quite decent. The, the mattress is very comfortable. And then this is our working table. Actually, I got to work from here last night and it's awesome. Provide water, by the way. Fresh drinking water. Arrange your clothes or shoes. You can hang your clothes there. Basically, I love this place, particularly because it's very comfortable, very clean. The sheets are very clean and comfortable. So we actually booked two rooms. This room is not in suit. The bathroom is outside. But the second room that I'm going to show you right now is in suit. As you can see, the bathroom is quite spacious. The water is hot. The shower is hot, which makes it very interesting. Now this is the second room, don't mind how rough it's used, we used it and for both rooms we paid $56, $56 $54, $54 for both rooms, isn't that quite friendly, very friendly, I think it's very friendly, there's a mini fridge here, so you can bring your drinks here, chill it, just enjoy it at night and the one more thing i forgot to mention the package the 54 dollars is inclusive of breakfast you saw how sumptuous that meal was now that is the room tour by hadia <laughs> i believe she did fine <laughs> i hope so yeah she did fine <laughs> so guys we are now hitting the road we have so many activities today we have over four activities and at the same time we are supposed to go to a different Airbnb that we booked. This time now we're going at least to have some luxury. But until then, so many activities, so let's go. How was the experience with the turtles? I got to touch them. It was beautiful. 
Actually, they don't bite. Me. Sharon was so scared. She does not understand how much we love reptiles. We love tortoises. We love turtles. turtles but you wanna touch it's, them. It's going to be a hard task to convince her. <laughs> but otherwise, we find them to be very beautiful creatures. Yes. Personally, I like them. I like the f that that whole idea of the natural aquarium because they're in, in their natural habitat. Apparently, those turtles had been found somewhere in the fisherman net. Maybe they were hurt or something, and then they are being brought here. It is like a rescue center for the turtles. And then there was a space for the smaller turtles and the bigger turtles. Now the bigger turtles are the ones we, whom we fed. Some people tried swimming with them, but people are scared because you know it is a it is not a very familiar animal. It is a familiar animal on books, but not like real like in real life. So we were scared that maybe it will bite us, but with time we got used to it. However, because of there's no sun today, so the reflection was somehow stopping our reggae. It was too much reflection, but the little you've seen, I'm sure you're satisfied. So let's go and see. What animals are in a Zanzibarian zoo? <laughs> we know the ones in Kenya, but not in Zanzibar. But there'll be more reptiles, I'm sure. <laughs> Get used to that. By the way, it is ten dollars per person, which translates to twenty thousand Tanzanian shillings per person, no matter the nationality. Africa. <laughs> Wanakula mara moja kwa wiki mbili. Bonnie and Clay. Yes. Nile Nile crocodiles 2 meters long. Yes. They only feed twice a week. Yes. Each each one of them eats around 20 kg. Yes. In the wild they are not very mad. All the time that's stressful. Okay, what's the difference between antelopes and gazelles? Uh, gazelle is among of species of antelopes. Species of antelope can find the gazelle in Pala, Gnu. Gnu they are very big. Like what a about cow. Kudo, yeah, water back, mm -hmm. and this is Diki Diki. So, Diki Diki, it is the among us. Diki Diki soon is the among of smallest antelope in the world. Jumbo. Jumbo. Mm. Yeah. Ah. Oh, it is baboon? Yes, you are baboon. So, the other one is? Vavet monkey. What monkey? Vavet. They are friends. <laughs> ah, friend. <laughs> As in, do, do they play together? Sometimes they play together. Yeah, there are some oh. fight <laughs> These tiny animals can carry yes. squirrels. Squirrels, monsters. Yeah. Wow, we find chochot. I mean, how and they're not unique. Unique here to see si na na zoo nyingine na unajaga hapo. Na again, what are we I'm scared and excited at the same time. See you, yeah. Who is you? <laughs> blue monkey. Yes, yes. But they are not blue. One, she was an accidental. Mm. The name the blue monkey now they mean the blue monkey. Oh. And those ones is the velvety monkeys. Oh, but they are friendly. Yeah, and, they and and they do not have like those sharp no, nails. No. Shoulder. They are very soft. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Hello. African ostrich is the biggest ostrich in the world. Okay. They can grow up to three meters tall. That's why I'm called mousi. Because I'm going to catch Yeah, there's a flap. Flap neck. monkeys imagine it just stood here <laughs> its paws are very soft it's just like someone is touching your back you won't even notice and they're vegetarian so i was not scared of being eaten we're excited to tell you that we are at eskizalu resort it is one of the biggest hotels around here in nungui and it's indeed big and this place is heavenly the infinity pool and for now where we're going to eat guys magical i'm just excited we've paid for our lunch for 20 dollars per head yes so if you eat beyond that you'll pay but if you pay less than that no refunds so we intend to utilize this moment The 
jetty. It's like at the pier. This is magical. So guys, we have been exploring Zanzibar mostly on a budget. However, the island offers a variety of exquisite luxury resorts that you could enjoy if you can afford. Eskizal is one of these resorts. More resorts in the coming videos. Let's enjoy the lunch. Welcome. Chicken biryani, some sauce. I don't know what that is, but it's some form of sauce. This is just too much in a nice way. And here we go. Coconut fish, coconut or something. This is fish. Yep. Your presentation. So this is the first restaurant, the jetty went to the second restaurant and you can see it is equally beautiful. These people are extra as far as deco goes. Ooh, it's exquisite, you don't pay that much money for nothing. So the villas is a combination of either three bedroom or four bedroom. So suites would be located strictly on that side. We don't have any bathtub with showers. Mm -hmm. And then the villas are on the right hand side. So they have their own private plunge pool. Some of them have bathtubs and you see the range. Okay. Yes. And the villa that's on show today is this one. So does that mean that you're a very really good cook? Personally, me, yes, for myself, yes. Like, I'll, I'll boast, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but you do have, yes, wonderful chefs who offer cooking classes. So, you're you sign the cooking classes free, sure? No, so it's $35 per person. So, you do the entire cooking class um, where you make a three course meal, you get the recipe, you get a bottle of wine, and that whole experience. Okay. So, this is a four bedroom villa. Okay. We have only. One that is like this, of an ocean type. This one here, mm -hmm. and then the second one. Mm -hmm. So this one is a three bedroom, mm -hmm. and then the other one is a four bedroom. Okay. So then when you take into consideration that we say seafront villas, mm -hmm. it's yeah. only those uh -huh. two. This one is garden? This is ocean view. Ocean view. This oh. one, four bedroom ocean view. You guys are from Uganda? Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's been with um, coconut wood. Really? Yes. That is so smart. Coconut wood. The bedroom has its own bathroom and suite. Okay. Ah. I like your seats. Yes. Coconut trees. It's coconut wood. So they compress it and then that's how you get these special type of... So if you ever try to split it, then you'll see that it shreds up. But they put it under compression and then you can actually make furniture. Uh, so you have the pots utensils, gas, in case you know you want to warm food, in case you want uh, private chef services as well, it's included in the villa rate, mm -hmm. and butter services as well. Oh. This is the spa room. Okay. So in, and then this is the study area? Uh, this is just the main area, living room area. <laughs> Um, another thing to take into consideration that whether it's a three bedroom or a four bedroom, okay. each one will always have one twin, one room about that oh, has twin beds. Okay, for kids, I guess. Yes. Okay. The bathroom is so big. Look at this, his and hers. And then the bath. Ooh. Ooh. This is a dream. What is this? Oh, the bathroom. This is the master bedroom. These are king size beds. This is a dream. Oh, I almost went through this. It's a clear one. Right now, I'm full. Yes, sir. A four bedroom, mm -hmm. there'll be two baths. So, if there's three bedrooms, there'll be one bath. How much is this? The so four bedroom this, one? The four bedroom one, it depends on the season, but it goes up to 2200 a night. Okay. So that includes um, breakfast and dinner. Okay. So total you can say can accommodate up to eight adults and four kids. Yes. How about the three bedroom? The okay. three bedroom would go about for 1900 1800 Okay, depending on the season. Depending but it on the could season. go higher. 
it could but it also really depends on the season and also depends on how how early you book with us for example i had a group who booked um let's say booked last year but they booked um ocean view suites for bedrooms mm-hmm. but they were one family so i told them instead of i can give you guys an upgrade from the four bedroom ocean view suite mm-hmm. if you guys want put them in here it were not too fixed mm-hmm. in forcing our guests to stay in specific areas mm-hmm. that's good that's good mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a little group. What, what, what is so this is the um, Maasai village. Where mm-hmm. It's part of the spa treatment. We are going to have a good and a fun ritualistic. Um, come up with a body exfoliation mm-hmm. and then do body massage. We are going to have the local ingredients, manjano, evo, mm-hmm. and then we are going to have some of the Maasai rituals. So the Maasai come and they do a dance for you mm-hmm. while you are doing the whole treatment. Oh, the whole mm-hmm. massage. This is just on another level. <laughs> good, good, good. I hope we go soon. <laughs> Guys, we're headed to Kendo Beach. We have been told it is a better version of the Numbui. Actually, it's okay. We are expecting that it is equally a good beach, but some say it is better. And because we are about to have the sundowner, as usual, we have to find a perfect beach for the sundowner. And here we are chasing the sunset. It's been cloudy. I don't know if we'll see the sunset well or we'll just see the sunset glow. Today has been very, very eventful. Zala. Mm-hmm. I can't find enough words for that place, but it's spectacular. Uh, French people, Eskizala. how do we say it? Eskizala. It's Eskizala. I don't how, know. How do we pronounce it? If you know French, please tell us. Yes. How do we pronounce it and what does it mean? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I've realized about this site, the roads are good until it gets to, there's just somewhere where the road just ends. Number Especially eight. the tarmac road. Number this side look, appears to be better as compared to the other side. But I think the Tanzanian government should do something about that. Or the Zanzibarian uh, government should do something about the roads around there. Because those are very, very luxurious hotels. Uh, major tourist attractions. Look at this beach, guys. It's so big. People are playing football. There are people who've just left the Dow Cruise. There are a lot of beach beds. Ah, ah. I think Kendo Beach is the beach to come to. It is. I think it's prettier than. Ah. We are literally chasing the sun. Today was a very very beautiful day, a very successful day even though we have not gotten to where we were supposed to sleep but the events and the places we visited since morning till now was totally worth it i must say thank god we got to catch the sunset we were literally chasing it we have a lot planned for tomorrow because we will now be doing like a crash program the events that we were supposed to have done today 
part of tomorrow's events we have to cover this entire island so by the time we're leaving this place we hope to give you guys a blueprint of how Zanzibar looks like and if you're traveling on a budget what what places you can stay what activities you can do if you're not so much on a budget what things you can do uh, but so far so far so good thank you so much guys for watching this video and the other videos that have come before this i do a lot of travel travel videos if you have never watched any of my video welcome and stay tuned because there's more to come awesome content at live kenya as always so until the next bye